Tables always aloof has won today's Underwood Stakes at Caulfield. Here are the closing stages. Horses down the outside, followed by Interim, and back behind them is Dan Henry. Always a loop is the leader from Mr. Dan, and down the outside is Marble Horse, who's trying hard to come at these leaders. Always a loop, tackled by Mr. Dan in the final stages. Mr. Dan, always a loop, always a loop. I think it's just beaten Mr. Dan. And Tracy, that wraps up this Sunday sport. Thanks, Matt. The weather's next in 10 news. Then losing your marbles and loving it. Peter Hayes in this afternoon's Group 1 Vic Health Cup at Caulfield. After winning the same race last year, King made it back-to-back -back cups, this time on seven-year-old Cut Up Rough. Cut up rough has hit the front of the 280 metre mark and sprinted clear. Three lengths in front now from Tarn Perlane. Then Dal Sol from Lord Luskin. Out wide video fan, but cut up rough. Cut up rough is going to win the race. Peter Hayes describes the seven-year-old as one of the toughest horses he's trained. Cut up rough started at 12 to 1. Second, Tanpere Lane at 10s, with Del Sol third. In the Group 1 Underwood Stakes, successful Lee Friedman and one of his Melbourne Cup hopes, always aloof. The leader is always aloof on the outside, Estadat starting to pack it back quickly. Marble Halls further out, it's Estadat getting up to always aloof from Marble Halls. It's always aloof in front, Estadat levelling up, they hit it, oh, very close here. Always aloof started at 15 to 1, second Estadat at 5s, with the favourite Marble Halls third. The Daily Double paid 100 aloof since joining the Freedman Stable. I did think he'd run very, very well. Uh, his work, had, his track work had been fantastic this week and I could sense that the horse had improved significantly since he won the other day and that's why I switched from running him in this handicap race to the weight for age. Earlier in the Vic Health Cup, Taukei was the three to one favourite. Cut up rough takes the lead with 150 metres left to go and it's kick clear in second place turn P lane and then came Taukei but it's cut up rough for the Vic Health Cup it wins today. Cut up rough wins by a length turn P lane Del Sal has hung on for third. Cut up rough started 12 to one from Tarpern Lane tens and Del Sol fifties. For jockey Stephen King successive wins in the group one race. It deflated me a bit when we drew 15 but uh, Steve gave me a very good ride and he won well he deserved that. The Caulfield Daily Double paid $121. The Quaddy on the numbers 6, 3, 5 and 2 returned 8,000 while the straight six jackpots. Meanwhile last year's Melbourne Cup favourite Oscar Schindler has won his second Irish and Ledger. A decision will be made over the next few days whether he'll make the trip again. Urged at Caulfield today as spring racing gathers momentum. Import always aloof, Tarn Perlane and Skybo all turned in eye-catching efforts. The first today won by Silver Glade, who could be a Caulfield Cup lightweight himself after returning to form with Stephen King first leg of his double. Race two went to Angel's Image, a class ride by Danny Brerett and got the five to two favourite home. In the third, the boom horse Show No Emotion flopped badly. Umrum a big win. It was the first leg of a double for Danny Nikolic. Race four went to Cornwall Queen, broke a run of outs for Brett Preble. Philly's been set for the Oaks. La Baraka didn't back up. Race five, the Vic Health Cup. Tauke cut up rough, shot to the lead at the 100 metre mark, dashed a length and a half to Tan Perlane, Lord Luskin on the outside, but it's cut up well, well clear. Cut up rough in front of Tan Perlane, but cut up rough wins it. A length to Tan Perlane. At seven years of age, it was feared cut up rough had passed it as far as winning a Group 1 goes, but the bridesmaid finally had the breaks. He completed a winning double for Stephen King, starting 12 to 1. Tan Perlane, fantastic. The unplaced favourite Tauke, very unlucky. Then the Underwood Stakes, always a good guide to the Spring Richards. Estadada's chasing hard and then Marble Hall's on the outside, always a loop, 100 out in front. Estadard's grinding home well. It's always a loop, tackled by Estadard, always a loop, Estadard, always a loop, and no. Import always a loop, a very strong winner. He's proven at the two miles and drops to 53 kilos in the cup, but Lee Friedman is still spruiking Marble Hall's. He's a, the sort of horse in a Caulfield Cup with 52 and a half. Is, it's sort of like comparing apples and oranges running in weight for age race all the time. But the horse is going very well, and he'll go on from there. Always aloof completed a big day for Danny Nikolic at 15 to 1. Istadard had every hope, Marble Hall's third. Then Skybo's big win in race seven. Waterford Road, the leader. Here's Magneto and Skybo. Skybo's raced up. He's got him, Skybo. Takes the lead from Waterford Road and Shan Oak, and Skybo wins it from Waterford Road by a length. Skybo started at 9-1 to one in the second last beating one of the equal favourites and the final event today was taken out by Bill Reeve, written by Brett Preble at 12-1. to one. 
Multiples today, daily double $120, 8,000 in the quaddy and a carryover in the straight six. The chances of English Galloper Classic Cliché tackling the Melbourne Cup nosedived overnight when he finished a distant last in the Irish St Ledger. The race was taken out by last year's beaten Cup favourite Oscar Schindler, who this year is set for the Arc de Triomphe in Paris in preference to a Melbourne trip. They've opened a furlong to race and Oscar Schindler hits the front. Front Persian punch in second. Whitewater Affairs beaten and they're clear of stage affair and inside the final furlong. Oscar Schindler is going to win back-to-back -back Irish St. Ledger's as they race up to the finish. Oscar Schindler and Stephen Crane striding away to win it in good style. Oscar Schindler wins the uh, Irish St. Ledger. Persian punch a game second. Closing a bit at the finish. Whitewater Affair third and they're clear of family tradition who runs on from the back for four. Stage affair five. Six is Sam Rannan completely tailed off. The distance behind uh, the sixth horse, a very disappointing classic cliche. Jane, that's all in sport. I'll see you next week. Yes, you will, Greg, and have a good week. Thanks, you too. Now it's time to wrap.